An explosion has rocked Turkey's largest city of Istanbul. We'll show you some of the latest pictures now as the blast allegedly took place in one of the city's busiest spots. Uh, these are, again, some of the latest pictures now coming from Istanbul. Uh, the governor says there are four victims. They also claim that the explosion was caused by a suicide bomber. Uh, 20 more people are reported to have been injured. Now, the street where the blast took place is very popular among tourists. There are many consulate buildings located in that area. As we show you some of the latest pictures from Istanbul in the aftermath of this blast, uh, the police presence there certainly being bolstered. Let's bring in RT's William Whiteman into the studio here, uh, someone who's actually returned from the area in, in, in recent days. Uh, William, when it comes to a blast like this, we, we understand from preliminary reports that it was a suicide bomber. Yes, no, exactly. I mean, uh, from the information that we have now so far, um, uh, four people are said to have died. One of them includes the uh, suicide bomber. Uh, Twenty other people are injured at this point. As we were saying uh, previously, obviously this attack took place in a very busy district of Istanbul, an area which is incredibly popular with tourists. Uh, so it's no wonder that it's such a large um, uh, casualty number at this point. Now, Will, I just wanted to say, because we're having the reports of the one blast here, which was supposed to be that one suicide bomber, but we also understand security forces on high alert. They suspect a second suicide bomber might be somewhere in that area. Yes, no, this is what we're seeing as well. They're on the lookout for like, a second follow-up blast, which could obviously affect um, emergency services when they attempt to uh, rescue the wounded or the dying from the area. Now, you're just back, ultimately, from that region. You've been going all throughout uh, the southeastern area, the border, along with Syria. You, you've spoken to the locals. You, you've seen the devastation, whether it's a terrorist blast or Turkey's incursion in the southeast. When you're sitting in here, here in Moscow and you see the story of a suicide bomber in Istanbul, you're just back from there. What are your your first thoughts? Well, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is obviously the uh, absolutely uh, brutal level of devastation in the southeast of the country. I was in Jizra, uh, where the, pretty much all of the structures have been damaged to the point where they're on the verge of collapsing. A large number of them are completely decimated and, and are no longer stand. It looks like Syria there. It looks like Hammer. It looks like Aleppo. Um, so if you take that into consideration, it's no surprise that a lot of the local residents I spoke to are saying that um, uh, many among the Kurdish population are becoming uh, radicalized by these attacks. And uh, obviously this would lead uh, some to uh, want to seek vengeance. Um, obviously though, at this point there is no, uh, no one is claiming responsibility for the blast. Um, it remains to be seen who does so. Obviously this could also be the work of uh, ISIL who operate just across the border as well. Uh, we will bring you more information as soon as we have it. Are you expecting a swift statement to come from President Erdogan today? Well exactly as we were saying earlier this is this, 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 thing, this happens time and time again. Uh, an attack happens and Erdogan immediately comes out within an hour or so and blames the PKK and uh, consistently he has proven uh, to be wrong. He even went as far as to have the uh, PKK positions in, uh, in Iraq bombed by the Turkish Air Force uh, following the most recent bombing in Ankara, although it, it emerged afterwards that a uh, Kurdish group within, uh, uh, within the southeast of the country had taken responsibility. Obviously, we should point out that the PKK are actively involved in fighting ISIS, ISIL, in Iraq and Syria and have proved to be one of the most effective ground forces in the battle. All right, so the latest we have on this breaking news, William, is that we, uh, first of all, it was several days ago that we had a huge blast in Ankara. Now we've had another explosion in Istanbul in ultimately a very popular tourist part of the town that you know very well. Mm. Um, and the police are cracking down with security because they suspect there may be a second suicide bomber. William, keep a tab on Twitter and your contacts in the region, and we'll keep you around here at RT and see if you can offer us some more information uh, as this program continues. No problem. Thanks for that, William. Well, Turkey's uh, largest city has recently uh, stepped up security measures in the face of raised terrorism threats in the country. The heightened security in Istanbul are coming after a surge in terror attacks. Today's blast is the second in the country in less than a week. The city also came under attack uh, last month when a suicide bomber killed 12 German, German tourists. That was in central Istanbul. Uh, just a week ago, another blast took place near a bus station in the capital, Ankara, close to a large park and commercial area. That extremely powerful explosion killed 37 people and injured around 100 more. And Turkey has been hit by a wave of terror attacks in the last few months. Since the beginning of the year, powerful explosions and suicide attacks have killed scores in both Ankara and Istanbul.
Bedford.